guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is this glittery, festive look. I filmed the whole thing, including my brow routine. I included that all in here. I wanted to give you guys the full shebang, the full experience. I also really quickly wanted to mention that I am going to be doing mini giveaways in the next two months. I'll be doing that on every tutorial. So make sure you stay tuned until the very end so you know how you can enter to win that product. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so to begin, I'm going to take my Benefit 24-hour brow setter. I've been loving this new technique where I apply the product to the front of my brow and then I flatten it out with my finger to give the appearance of more of like that fluffier look. Going into my dip brow pomade, I'm in the color dark brown. I'm going to take this on my MAC angled brush. Start by sketching out my lower base of my brow and extend the tail out. When I use the brow gel, I feel like I can use less product this way. And whatever was left on my brush, I'm going to start creating these hair-like strokes in the front portion of my brow. Taking a little bit more product, I'm going to now sketch out the arch. This area needs a lot of love because it's bald as hell. So I'm just going to feather that in and fill it in as needed. Next, I'm going to take my Glamouflage Hard Candy Concealer. I'm in the shade Light Medium and I like to use this as a base and also to clean up my brows. first shadow we're going to use is this one here from my Creative Soul Cosmetics Harmony Palette. I really love this palette and I'm going to take this pretty orange shade on my MAC 224 brush. I'm going to use this as a transition. It's a pretty deep transition to start with but I really like the intensity it gives off. So I'm just going to build this up and work it into the crease. Next up, I'm going to take this color called Brick from the same palette. It's a beautiful red orange. With my Morphe brush, I'm going to pack this in right underneath of that transition. Keep in mind we're doing like a sandwich effect where every color is going to be beneath itself, if that makes sense. I don't want to lose too much of the transition shade, so I'm just reinforcing that again. When creating these looks, it's a lot of packing and blending, so again, I'm going to go into the same shade and I'm going to pack it in once more just to make sure that red pops. Switching palettes, I'm going into my Morphe 3502 palette with this red brown. I'm going to slowly start packing that in with my MAC 221 brush. I start by stamping. I stamp down the product so it saves me time and I don't spend too much time packing and blending and packing and blending. That really has helped me out through the years is just make sure you place the product where you want it first and then soften it. Now to carve out the crease, I'm taking my Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion. I start by just applying this all over the lid. I don't want to bring it too far up, so I keep it a little lower. With my Dose of Colors Concealer Brush, I slowly start creating the shape that I want for this cut crease. My biggest tip when doing this type of technique is really make sure that you're taking your time and working your way up slowly. You don't want to bring it up too far, too quick. With whatever's left on my MAC brush, I'm going to soften the edge, that way it's not really harsh. Going in with this champagne color from the same palette, I'm going to pack this in all over the lid as our base color. Then to intensify, I'm going to take the matte black from the same exact Morphe palette with my pencil brush. I'm going to slowly start breaking this out on the outer corner to add more of that smoky effect. I've recently been trying out this Sigma eyeliner and no la chingues, it's actually really good. I love the fact that the brush is really thin, that way you can create those really precise wings. What I like most is that it is a matte finish, so kind of similar to the NYC but definitely different price point. I don't want to leave the eyeliner just floating there, so I'm just going to take a tiny bit more black eyeshadow and re-intensify that. I want to really focus on the edge so I can give it a seamless blend. Let's take it up a notch. I'm going to take my liquid sugar from Eye Candy Cosmetics. The glitters I'm going to be using today are from Candio Love. Now I mix two colors, a bronzy and more of a rose gold, and with these two I created my own concoction. Big tip if you're working with chunky glitters, do not, I repeat, no la cagues in piling up all the glitter because you're going to have glitter everywhere, it's not going to stay. You need to work in small sections. 
go ahead and prime my skin. I'm using the Step 1 Skin Equalizer from Makeup Forever. I haven't used this. This was sent to me, um, I want to say like a few months ago. But I never used it. I know the texture of it because when I worked at Sephora, I did get to play around with it a little bit. But it honestly feels like one of those hydrating, lightweight primers. It doesn't really like smooth the skin or blur the pores. It just kind of hydrates the skin. I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. This is my go-to during the winter time. I feel like it's a little bit too on the orange side for me. So I'm going to mix another foundation with it. I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible number 205. So I'm going to take both of these colors, mix them to create my shade. The brush I'm going to use to blend this out is the AOA Studio Brush. This is in F3, so it's like an angled brush. This is like a dupe for like the Sigma brushes. It does feel a little bit more cheap than the Sigma brush, but as far as like bristles go, it's la misma chingadera. So I'm just going to take this and buff it in. I've really been loving this combination of foundations, especially right now during the winter where I can't use anything too matte on my skin. The combination of these is bomb. So you guys definitely need to try them if you're more on the drier side. I mentioned to you guys last time that I really want to start doing more talk throughs. So I figured I could do a talk through for the complexion portion of this tutorial because me pendejo, when I'm talking, I get sidetracked. Like that, I don't know if that happens to you guys, but it happens to me. I get really sidetracked, so I like to be able to concentrate on what I'm doing, especially for eyes, because eyes are really detailed. I like to tell you guys exactly what I'm doing. And then when I get to foundation, I can chit chat a little bit more because I kind of go with the flow and it's not as detailed, if that makes sense. I'm going to take my beauty blender and blend this out. The powder I use is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder. This is bomb. I've talked about it on my channel before. I really, really love this and I definitely recommend that you guys pick it up. It is a bit pricier, but in all honesty, I feel like it's well worth it. take my Benefit Hula Bronzer with my Morphe M437 brush. It's just a domed fluffy brush. I was clowning on myself on Snapchat the other day when I had the same hairstyle. And I wear this hair cuando tengo hueva. I don't want to throw my extensions on. I don't want to throw a wig on. I just want to, you know, slick my hair back y vámonos. So I have like a love and hate relationship with this type of hairstyle because I really like the sleek look. It's easy, but at the same time, con los pelos lambidos like this, I always feel like it enhances my cara de plato. And if you can relate, if you have a round face, you know what I'm saying. So I like to really contour and chisel my cheeks whenever I have this type of hair because the struggle is real, you know? I'm going to take a little bit of my Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. This one is in the shade Sunlight. I only like to use this product for my nose highlight. I know it's extra. I know it's weird, but I don't really like this on the cheeks. I just like it for the pop on the center of my nose. take my Maybelline highlighter to add a little bit of glow to my cheeks. Jumping back to the eyes, I'm going to add my mascara. Eyeliner, I usually always do black, but I feel like it's a little repetitive. Although, realistically, I would wear it anyway. But I'm going to try something different today. I'm going to use my Stila Smudge Stick. And now the color I'm using is Lionfish. Well, that didn't end up working out. So I'm just taking my Makeup Geek Nude Eyeliner in my waterline. Take a little bit more of the color Brick from the same Creative Soul palette. And I'm just going to put this right underneath of that brown. 
quickly apply my lip color. The lip liner I'm using is Kylie's True Brown K. And the liquid lipstick I'm going to use is from Dose of Color. This is their new launch. It's called Let's Cuddle. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. I know it's extra as fuck, but I'm extra as fuck when it comes to the holidays. I'm the person where I want to be full beat, glitter, the whole shebang. That's just who I am. So if you like this tutorial, you already know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. As I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, I am going to be doing get little mini giveaways. For today, I am going to give one of you guys a medium size Z palette. These come in handy if you travel a lot or just in general to separate your favorite single shadows. To win this Z palette, I want you guys to be subscribed to my channel. Turn your notifications on down below. And to make your entry valid, I want you to go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite type of tacos are. Are they the carne asada? Are they the tripas? The cabeza? The buche? What are they? Because my favorite right now are tripas. Bien doraditas, those are my favorite. So don't forget to do that down below and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.